Hey guys, so I tried this half cornrows in the front and half knotless braids in the back hairstyle for the first time ever and it was very easy. I love how lightweight the hairstyle is. My braids are still really long and I'm very highly impressed with this new ombre hair that I used that came from off Amazon. The color is awesome. I love it, you guys. Thank you so much to the company Union Beauty Store or Amazon who sent me this hair. Y'all is going to get a really good review today. I'm going to try this hair out and I hope it turns out as good as I think it will. So the blend of this, it starts off with like the one B up top and then as it goes along, it turns into this beautiful 27 color which blends into 613. And if you're watching my channel, I have really been getting into the 613 color. So I really love this blend. I cannot wait to try this out. I'm going to do some braids with this hair. So you actually get eight packs of hair, which is more than enough to do your whole head if you want to do twist Senegalese twist if you wanted to do knotless braids box braids all of that uh cornrows you have more than enough hair you probably got enough hair to do two people um heads depending on you know what type of hairstyle you're going to do but I'm excited to try this hair out I cannot wait oh do y'all see this <laughs> I really like it you guys I cannot wait to try this out so here I'm just showing you guys that I did start knotless braids in the back of my hair and this was one pack of the braid hair that I used. So one pack of braid hair went a long way for sure. And here you see most of my back of my hair is complete. Just had two braids left to do, two more knotless plaits. Using some shining gem of course. I use this in all my videos when I'm doing braid hairstyles. So I'm putting that at the roots of my hair to slick it down and get it nice and smooth and you know easy to maintain it also helps of course the knotless braids to be very very neat looking at the root area so with knotless braids you of course start off with your own natural hair and then you start to feed in the actual braiding hair which if you don't know the braiding hair is synthetic hair and here you can see how I'm feeding it into the braids. I'm not going so too far in depth with how to do knotless braids because I have other videos that show you how to do these. But I did want to at least show you guys um, the last two that I did do in this hairstyle that I'm doing today. So, so far I've put in two pieces. This is the third piece of hair I'm feeding into the plaits. And you just plait it on down. And you continue to add as many pieces of hair so you get to your preferred thickness of plait that you want to have. So these are in between small and medium size. They're not large at all, but they're also not super, super small. So I'm saying, I guess, medium size. And of course, I'm adding some shining jam to my hair. So you can use as much of this as you, you know, desire to while you're plaiting. So by the time you get to the end of your plait, you don't have too many flyaways. You don't have to do too much cutting off. Um, and this, of course, helps the braid look very, very neat, very professional looking. And you'll see once I get to a certain point, I bring the braid towards the front of my hair. It just gets easier for me to plait down the remaining of the plait like this. And also, I'm not sure if you guys can see that by the roots of this plait, it looks like there's a piece of hair that is included um, that's overlapping the part that I did for this section. So you'll see later on that I will be pulling that extra piece of hair out so that my parts can look neat because I took my time part in my hair this time. I always take my time, but I do not like bad looking parts. Even though I wasn't doing super duper precise parting this time around, I still want my parts to look pretty decent, you know? <laughs> it definitely helps out. The ending results in the hairstyle come out to be very, very nice looking. So at this point of the plaid, I've added as many pieces as I see that I need. So I'm just going to continue to plait this all the way down. And because the plaid is very, very long, it makes it much easier if you just stick the plaid in your mouth and continue to plait down. It's very easier on your arms and for the plaiting process. Once I'm done with the plaid, I'm cutting off little excess pieces of hair that you see sticking out of the plaid because, again, we want this to look super duper nice. So we're going to cut those off. And because I did use a shining jam, I don't have as many. Just usually at the towards the end of the plaid is where you kind of see most of those fly away hair pieces. And right here, I'm just showing you guys where I'm pointing to. I had took the extra piece of hair that was 
included in my plaid that wasn't supposed to be there. So I showed y'all that I did remove that. It was really simple. Okay, and we are on this let knotless braid that we have to do. So just showing you guys one more time how I did my knotless braid. So let you guys see and watch how I did it this time. And then I will hop back in the video when it's time to do the front of my hair. Because the front of my hair, as you guys can see from the beginning of the video, we are doing regular cornrows in the front. This is going to be a half and half hairstyle. And this time around, I did want to do something different. I did not want to do the normal knotless braids all over my entire head. I do that all the time. So feeding braids is a challenge for me normally, but I did finesse these and do a great job in my opinion. It's a DIY hairstyle that I wanted to share with you guys. So keep on watching and you'll be able to see exactly how I was able to do these. here we go it's time to complete the top of my head i'm going to be doing some feeding cornrow braids so originally i was just going to start off by braiding the sides of my hair first and section it off however i was like nope let me try to get my braids as even as possible so i am doing a middle part in the middle of my head so i can separate the two sides of my head and it'll definitely help me be able to get my braids going the same way. Because I'm just going to be doing straight back cornrows in the front. And I want them to be even on both sides all the way across my head from ear to ear. So once I got both sides separated, I'm working on the left side first. So going back to parting. So just parting a straight part so that I'm able to section off the first braid that I'm going to do. I typically take my time when I'm parting because I definitely want it to be straight. So here we go. I'm going to get some shining jam and put it along the edges of the entire cornrow section that I'm going to cornrow because um, the more you put down, the better it'll, you know, come out in a sense as far as looking neat at the roots. So the same way you do not let braids, you're going to start off the feeding braids the same way. You start off with just your natural hair. And then once you, once I plait maybe, I'm sorry, once I braid maybe about two times i guess braid down two times i then start to add in the feed in hair i will say for me braiding my own hair is not easy but when i add in the feeding hair it gives it like an extra grip for some reason like i'm easy i'm able to grip my hair a lot better and smoothly braid my actual hair so the cornrows turned out really neat and I if I was to just only braid my own natural hair for some reason I don't know it just don't turn out real neat it'd be looking smashed looking however with these feeding cornrows they turned out very neat looks like real cornrows look like I got them professionally done in my opinion so I think some of you out there if you have issues with plaiting I'm sorry braiding or cornrowing your own hair doing feeding cornrows may actually work out better for you because it definitely works better for me cornrow in my hair with the extra braided hair actually is much much easier for me which is I don't even know how it's easier but it's definitely easier but once you finish the cornrow you just complete the plaits part of the cornrow just like you would do with the knotless braid if you want to add some additional hairs to get the plait to your actual preference the thickness preference then you can go ahead and do that so I went ahead and did another cornrow got my second one done it's looking really neat so we're going to move on to the third cornrow going to go ahead and part off another section of hair making sure my part is really neat i'm adding the shining gem in the scalp area so that we can get a nice precise part the shining gem definitely helps the part get neat it separates the hair very good for you lays it down smooths it out so definitely recommend using some type of jam or gel to help you with the actual parting part
And I just want to apologize a little bit, you guys, because I did not realize when I was recording this that my left hand was kind of blocking exactly what I was doing when I was corn rolling my hair. Um, I know people who are used to doing curls kind of can really get the gist of what I'm doing. But if you are trying to learn how to do this, what I'm doing is um, when I feed in the actual extra hair in a braid, I'm literally just placing that hair in between the fingers that is holding the braid. So right here, my right hand's holding the braid. My left hand fed the hair in between my right fingers that was holding the braid. So it's kind of the same process as when you're feeding in hair with doing knotless braids. It's literally the same exact thing. Same exact technique for how I feed in the hair. And I know there are many, many different ways to feed in the hair that people do, but this is just the way I do it. It's the easiest way to do it, especially it's DIY. It's the hairstyle you're doing on your own hair. So you want to be able to do it the, most, the easiest way you possibly can to still get a really nice result. And as you can see here, in my honest opinion, me doing my own feed in cornrows, I think these are turning out very neat and nice. I'm very impressed with myself and I'm proud of myself. So if you guys want to try like a hairstyle like this on yourself, go ahead and do it. Don't shy away. Um, you know, ain't nothing to it but to do it, to be honest with you. So if any of you guys out there try the hairstyle, definitely comment back on this video and let me know. Okay, so here we are. I got the left side of my hair all completely done. So now I'm just going to go ahead and do the right side of my hair off camera. But first, of course, I am putting a little bit of shining jam. I usually use edge control, but put some shining jam for now because it was late at night that I was doing this or trying to finish this up. Put some shining jam on my edges just to slick them down a little bit. So when I put my scarf on, they'll be nice and laid down. And voila, I completed all the braids in the front of my hair. Now just got to dip these uh ends in the hot water so just showing you guys here how i just put a pot on the stove i get the water boiling hot and i dip my ends in the hot water on the stove uh be careful when you do this have a towel ready because the water should be scorching hot so that it can definitely settle the hair and get it nice and smooth um the hot water also does help lay down any excess flowy hairs that be hanging out of the braid so that's another technique to kind of get those to lay down as well so i'm dipping in the hair this is a really pretty simple process and it's the last process last step i should say for this hairstyle and just an added tip if, when you dip your hair if you feel that you may need to redip some sections that's absolutely fine you can do that it will not harm or hurt the hair if anything it'll just get it even more straighter and keep it being that way for a longer period of time so this was the next day i had already tied down my hair and laid on and everything but it still looks super duper new clearly because it's the next morning <laughs> but y'all i did it i really like this hairstyle it is lightweight i still got my long length of braids check out the ombre blonde color i love this hair it was so manageable so easy to use i'm definitely going to be using this braid hair again it's available on amazon i'll have it linked down below for you guys Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video.